Welcome everyone, it is 3 p.m. and it's time for the server room show. This is episode 72. Today, uh, let us continue what we have started on episode uh, 71, which is uh, uh, which was the part one of uh, Open VMS. This is episode 72, part two of Open VMS. I did uh, talk about uh, a little bit of the history of Open VMS, and I did mention that uh, at some point I I want to do a separate episode of uh, DEC, Dig Digital Equipment Corporation, which uh, is the one uh, which was behind uh, VMS, VAX, uh, Open VMS, and uh, and also the Alpha architecture, and. Uh, and Open VMS is uh, a very interesting uh, operating system with a with a great uh, history, as uh, as we saw on episode seventy one, and uh, in episode seventy two we will explore uh, Open VMS uh, a bit more in depth. Now that we we have discussed in the previous episode uh, the history of it, which is. Uh, which is also uh, interesting with uh, the ports to to different uh, architectures and uh, mentioned uh, a little bit about uh, its future with uh, version 9.0 uh, the port to x86-64 which, uh, which could definitely mean that uh, OpenVMS can uh, live long and prosper and uh, stay with us for uh, for a long time, uh, not uh, not to disappear in 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 history, so to say, as uh, some other uh, operating systems which were running on uh, specific uh, architectures or uh, or non so common architectures. So. I really hope that this uh, x86-64 port is going good. I know that uh, little by little VMS software, uh, INC, the one who secured the rights uh, to develop Open VMS uh, operating system from HP, uh, they are uh, getting closer and closer to a, to a, to a release candidate uh, version to a full full uh, release and. Uh, it will it will make uh, make it possible for open vms to stay with us for for decades uh, to come because uh, these alpha and uh, itanium architectures the the last two uh, to which uh, open vms uh, was ported uh, none of them are uh, active uh, architectures anymore and uh, the people who, who still use uh, alpha uh, architecture servers or uh, or even some itanium ones uh, it is costing more and more money to 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 upkeep these uh, servers and uh, and to fix them each time uh, when something is wrong with them uh, it's harder and harder to find uh, uh, bits and pieces and parts for them to to service this uh, these uh, architectures, uh, both Itanium and uh, Alpha, and uh, an x86-64 port with the possibility to run uh, on on top of uh, machine virtualization, uh, on top of a virtual machine hypervisor, would uh, would take care of this problem, and it would definitely be uh, much uh, cheaper. I know that uh, in some previous episodes, I I spoke about. Uh, Stromasis uh, Charon uh, software uh, packages, which are uh, very expensive, but they make it possible to to run these uh, architectures uh, virtualized, like uh, like VAX and uh, PDP11, or uh, also the Alpha architecture. So there is uh, already a way to run these these systems or, or, or open vms in this uh, example for example on a virtualized uh, vax uh, computer or, or system but uh, the x86-64 port is uh, is very 
very very required for for the future uh, to, for the future of open bms in my opinion so the open bms architecture uh, compared to linux where it uh, it has the user and the kernel space as you uh, probably know it in open bms there are uh, more layers than just these two user mode supervisor mode uh, executive mode and uh, kernel mode the open bms operating system has a layered architecture consisting of a privileged executive uh, command language interpreter which runs at uh, an intermediate level of privilege and utilizes uh, and runtime which runs at an intermediate level of privilege and utilizes uh, uh, and utilities and runtime libraries uh, which run in an unprivileged mode but can potentially run at a higher level of uh, privilege if authorization to if if authorized to do so unprivileged code typically invokes the functionality of the executive through system services equ equivalent to system calls in uh, other operating systems for example in linux when from uh, user mode from a shell you you run a command which uh, makes a, a syscall to 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 the kernel uh, to the kernel mode and uh, and that's how it uh, access for example um, a specific device or or something on the on the hardware layer through through this system calls open vms uh, layers and mechanisms are built around uh, certain features of the vox architecture including uh, the availability of uh, four processor uh, access modes uh, named kernel executive supervisor and user in order of uh, decreasing privilege each mode has its uh, own stack and uh, each memory page can have memory protections uh, specified uh, per mode a virtual address space which is uh, partitioned between process private space sections p0 p1 p2 and uh, system space sections which are common to all processes like s0 s1 s2 32 interrupt uh, priority levels which are used for syn synchronization hardware support for delivering synchronous system traps to processes these vex architecture mechanisms are implemented on alpha titanium and uh, x86-64 by either mapping to corresponding hardware mechanisms on those architectures or through emulation via PAL code on alpha or in uh, software on itanium and x86-64 executive and uh, kernel the open vms executive comprise comprises the privileged code and data structures which uh, reside in the system space the executive is uh, further subdivided between the kernel which consists of the code which runs at the kernel access mode and the less privileged code outside of the kernel which runs at the executive access mode the components of the executive which run at executive access mode include the record management service and certain system services such as image activation the main distinction between the kernel and executive access modes is that uh, most of the operating system's core data structures can be read from uh, executive mode but require kernel mode to be written to code running at executive mode can switch to kernel mode at will meaning that the barrier between the kernel and executive modes is intended as a safeguard against uh, accidental corruption as opposed to a security mechanism the kernel compromises the operating system's core data structures like page tables, the I.O. database and the scheduling data and the routine, routines which operate on, on these structures. The kernel is typically described as having three major subsystems, I.O., process and time management and uh, memory management. In addition, uh, other functionalities such as logical name management synchronization and the uh, system service dispatch are implemented inside uh, the kernel in early versions of uh, vex vms most of the executives code was linked into a single executable image named sys.exe vax vms 5.0 introduced the modular executive 
which split the executive code into a number of executive images which are loaded during uh, system bootstrap. Sys.exe remained but was reduced to system server dispatch vectors, static memory locations for data common to multiple executive images and some basic support code. On OpenVMS for Alpha, Itanium and uh, x86-64, sys.exe is uh, further subdivided into sysbase image uh, exe and syspublic vectors.exe which contain the shared memory locations and uh, support code and uh, system service uh, dispatch logic uh, respectively. The common language interpreter, uh, an open VMS common language interpreter, uh, CLI implements a common uh, line interface for open VMS responsible for executing individu individual commands as well as common procedures uh, equivalent to shell scripts or batch wise. The standard CLI for OpenVMS is the digital command language, although other options are available as well. Unlike uh, Unix shells, which typically run in their own isolated process and uh, behave like any other user mode program, OpenVMS CLIs are an optional component uh, of a process, which exists alongside any executable image which uh, the process may run. Whereas a Unix shell will typically run executables by creating a separate process using a fork exec, an OpenVMS CLI will typically uh, load the executable image into the same process, transfer control to the image and ensure that control is transferred back to CLI once the image has uh, exited and that the process is returned to its uh, original state. CLI gets mapped into a process private address space through execution of the login out uh, image which can either be executed manually or automatically by certain process, process creation system services. Due to the fact that uh, the CLI is loaded into the same address space as user code and that the CLI is responsible for invoking image activation and image rundown the CLI is mapped into memory at uh, supervisor access mode. This is in order to prevent accidental or malicious manipulation of the CLI's code and uh, data structures by user mode code. Uh, privileged images. OpenVMS allows user mode code with suitable privileges to switch to executable kernel mode using the CM exec and uh, CM kernel system services uh, respectively. This allows code outside of uh, system space to have direct access to the executive's routine, uh, routines and uh, system services. These are two mechanisms by which executable images can gain the privilege, privileges needed to run at an elevated access mode. If the user uh, running the code has uh, CM exec or CM kernel privileges and has uh, enabled them for uh, the current process, if the image has been made known to the operating system uh, using the install utility and uh, granted the appropriate privileges, it can be run by a non-privileged user without uh, granting those privileges to the user. In addition to allowing third-party ex extensions to the operating system, privileged images are used by core operating system utilities to manipulate operating system data structures through undocumented uh, interfaces. Images which have been granted privileges through the install utility are used to implement some of the set and show commands for DCL. On the other hand, uh, privileged utilities such as uh, sysgen are not installed and require a privileged uh, user to run as they have the potential to compromise the system if uh, misused. OpenVMS also uh, allows shareable images, uh, like shared uh, libraries, to be granted privilege through the install facility. Privileged shareable images are used to implement so-called user-written system services, which are privileged uh, routines which can be linked into an otherwise non-privileged program. User-written system services are invoked uh, using the same mechanism as standard system services 
which prevents the unprivileged program from gaining the privileges of the code in the privileged uh, shareable image. Despite what the name may suggest, user written system services are also used to implement parts of uh, the operating system. In particular, user written system services are used to implement seldom used uh, system services such as uh, volume mounting. Uh, this means that these system services are only loaded into the address space of processes which uh, need to use them. Some some words about uh, features of OpenVMS. User interfaces. Uh, VMS was originally designed to uh, be used and managed interactively using digital text-based video terminals such as the VT100 or hard copy terminals such as the deck writer series. Since the introduction of the Backstation line in 1984, VMS has uh, optionally supported graphical user interfaces for use with uh, workstations or graphical terminals connected to a server. Command line interfaces. The digital command uh, language has served as the primary command language interpreter CLI of OpenVMS since the first release. Other official uh, CLIs available for VMS include the RSX-11 uh, MCR for the VAX only and uh, various uh, Unix shells. Digital provided tools for creating text-based user interface applications, the form management system FMS and the terminal data management system uh, TDMS, uh, later succeeded by DAC forms. A lower level library comparable to Unix uh, courses called the screen management service SMG also exists. Uh, graphical user interfaces uh, VWS 4.5 running on top of Vax VMS version 5.5 dash to deck Windows XUI window manager running oh that was a yeah sorry that was a an alt text of a, of an image uh, description which are which the image I I did not paste into 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 the show notes i will i will fix that uh, the image will be there with the with the text under it so graphical user interfaces over the years vms has gone through a number of different uh, gui toolkits and uh, interfaces the original graphical user interface for vms was uh, a proprietary windowing system known as the vms workstation software uh, vws which was first released for the Vaxstation 1 in 1984. It exposed an API called the User Interface Services. It ran on a limited selection of uh, Vax hardware. In 1989, DEC replaced VWS with a new X11 based Window X system named uh, DEC Windows. It was first in, uh, included in Vax VMS version 5.1. Early versions of DEC Windows featured uh, an interface built on top of a proprietary toolkit named the X User Interface. A layered product named uh, UISX was provided to allow VWS UIS uh, applications to run on top of uh, DEC Windows. In 1991, DEC replaced uh, XUI, the X User Interface, with a Motif toolkit. Uh, creating deck windows uh, motif as a result uh, the motif window manager became the default deck windows interface in open vms version 6.0 although the xui the x user interface window manager remained as an option in 1996 as part of uh, open vms version 7.1 deck released the new desktop interface for deck windows uh, motif the new desktop uh, consist consisted of a significant subset of the common desktop environment. On Alpha and uh, Titanium systems, it is still possible to select the older uh, MWM based uh, UI referred to as the DEC Windows desktop at uh, login time. The new desktop was never ported to the VEX releases of uh, OpenVMS. Versions of VMS running on DEC Alpha workstations in the 1990s supported uh, OpenGL and an accelerated graphics port AGP 
uh, graphics adapters. Uh, VMS also provides support for all the graphics standards such as uh, GKS and PHIGS. Modern versions of uh, deck windows are based on x.org uh, server. Clustering. Open VMS supports clustering, first called uh, VEX cluster and later VMS cluster, where multiple systems run their own instance of the operating system, but uh, share uh, disk storage, processing and a distributed log manager, a common management and security domain, job queues and uh, print queues, providing a single system in each uh, abstraction. These systems are connected either by proprietary specialist hardware uh, cluster interconnect or an industry standard Ethernet LAN. OpenBMS supports up to 96 nodes in a single cluster and allows mixed architecture clusters where VAX and Alpha systems or Alpha and Itanium systems can uh, coexist in a single cluster. VMS clusters allow the creation of applications which can withstand planned or unplanned outages of part of the, of the, cl of the cluster. The file system, Open uh, VMS provides feature-rich facilities for file management. The typical user and application interface into the file system is uh, via the Record Management Service, uh, RMS, Record Management Services. Although applications can interface directly with the underlying file system through the QIO system services, RMS supports multiple record-oriented file access methods and uh, record formats including a stream format where the file is treated as a stream of bytes similar to UNIX. RMS uh, also supports remote file access via DECnet and uh, optional support for journaling. The file systems supported by VMS are referred to as the files-11 uh, on disk structures ODS which provides uh, disk quotas, access control lists and uh, file versioning. The most significant uh, structure levels are uh, ODS2, ODS-2, which is the original VMS uh, file system and ODS-5, which extended uh, ODS-2 with uh, support for Unicode file names, case sensitivity, hard links and uh, symbolic links. VMS is also capable of accessing files on ISO 9660 CD-ROMs and uh, magnetic tape with uh, NC tape uh, labels. Alongside the OpenVMS Alpha version 7.0 release in 1995, digital released uh, log, uh, log structured file system named uh, Spiralog, which was intended as a potential successor to files-11. To files uh, Spiralog shipped uh, as an optional product and was discontinued at uh, the release of OpenVMS Alpha 7.2. Spiralog's uh, discontinuation was due to a variety of uh, problems, including issues with uh, handling full uh, volumes. The developers of uh, Spiralog began work on a new file system in 1996, which, 1996, which was put on hold and uh, later resumed by VSI in 2016 as the VMS Advanced File System, VAFS, uh, not to be confused with uh, Digital's Advanced File System for 264, A ADVFS for 264. VAFS uh, uh, no longer appears on recent roadmaps and uh, instead VSI have discussed uh, porting the open source GFS2 file system to OpenVMS. One of the major motivations for replacing the files-11 structure, uh, structures is that they are limited to two uh, terabytes uh, volumes. Networking. Digital's uh, DECnet protocol suite is uh, tightly integrated into VMS, allowing uh, remote logins as well as transparent access to files, printers and uh, other resources on uh, VMS systems over a network. Modern versions of VMS support both the traditional Phase 4 DECnet protocol as well as the OSI uh, compatible uh, Phase 5, also known as uh, DECnet Plus. Support for TCP IP is provided by the optional TCP IP services for OpenVMS layer product, uh, originally known as the uh, VMS Ultrix connection. Then, as uh, the Ultrix communications uh, extensions or UCX. 
TCP IP services is based on, uh, on a port of the BSD network stack to open VMS along with uh, support for common protocols such as SSH, DHCP, FTP and uh, SMTP due to the fact that uh, the official TCP IP stack was introduced relatively late multiple third-party TCP IP stacks have been created for uh, VMS some of these third-party TCP IP stacks remain under active development such as uh, TCPware and uh, Multinet Digital sold a software package named uh, Petworks, originally known as the Personal Computer Systems Architecture or PCSA which allowed personal computers running uh, Microsoft DOS, Microsoft Windows or uh, OS2 or the Apple Macintosh to serve as terminal for VMS systems or to use uh, VMS systems as a file or print server. Patworks was based on uh, LAN Manager and supported either DECnet or TCP IP as a transport protocol. Patworks was uh, later renamed to Advanced Server for OpenVMS and was eventually replaced with a VMS port uh, of Samba at the time of the Itanium port. Digital provided the local error transport uh, LAT protocol which allowed remote terminals and printers to be attached to a VMS system through a terminal server. Timekeeping Open VMS represents uh, system, system time as the signed 64-bit uh, number of uh, 100 uh, nanosecond intervals that is uh, 10 million units per second also known as uh, a clunk since the epoch the epoch of uh, open vms is midnight uh, preceding november 17 Nove november 17th uh, 1858 which is the start of uh, modified julian day uh, numbering this will allow time uh, computations up to uh, the 31st of july uh, 31086 uh, 248 uh, in the morning uh, way way before overflow occurs and way before uh, what what i can come to 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 live and see uh, i'm definitely not gonna see this one coming while the native open vms time format can range far into the future applications based on the c runtime library will likely encounter uh, timekeeping problems beyond uh, january the 19th 2038 due to the year 2038 problem applications may also encounter the year 10,000 problem due to fixed length uh, date fields programming Digital and uh, its successor companies provided a wide variety of uh, programming languages for VMS, uh, officially supported languages on VMS, either current or historical, uh, include uh, or included uh, VEX Macro, Bliss, C, DCL, Fortran, Pascal, COBOL, BASIC, C++, Java, Common Lisp, APL, ADA, PLI, uh, DBOL, Coral 66, OPS5, RPG2, even though it doesn't sound a programming language, it sounds like a game, MUMS, uh, Macro-11, DECTPU and VEXCAN. Among uh, OpenVMS's notable features is the common language environment, a strictly defined uh, standard that specifies calling conventions for functions and uh, routines including use of uh, stacks, registers and so on, independent of uh, programming language. Because of this, uh, it is possible to call a routine written in one language, for example Fortran, from another, for example COBOL, without needing to know the implementation details of the, the target language. Open uh, VMS itself is implemented in a variety of different languages and the common language environment and calling standard supports freely uh, mixing these languages. Digital created a tool named uh, Structure Definition Language SDL which allowed data type uh, definitions to be generated for different languages from um, uh, common definition. Development tools. Uh, Digital uh, provided uh, a collection of software development tools in a layered product name named uh, Dexset, originally named uh, Vaxset 
This consisted of the language sensitive editor uh, LSE, a version control system, the code management system or CMS, a build tool, uh, the module management system or MMS, a static analyzer, the source code analyzer or SCE, a profile, uh, a profiler, the performance and coverage analyze, analyzer or PCA, as well as uh, a test manager, a digital test manager or DTM. In addition, a number of uh, text editors are included in the operating system, including EDT, EVE, and uh, the Teco text editor. I remember I, I talked about Teco, I think, uh, briefly in the in the episode of the server room show about uh, text editors. The OpenVMS debugger uh, supports all DEC compilers and many third-party languages. It allows breakpoints, uh, watch points, and interactive runtime program debugging, either using a command line or a graphical user interface. A pair of uh, lower-level de debuggers called Delta and XDelta can be used to debug privileged code in addition to normal application code. In 2019, VSI released an officially supported integrated development environment for VMS based on uh, Visual Studio Code. This allows VMS applications to be developed and uh, debugged remotely from a Microsoft Windows, Mac OS or Linux workstation. Database management. Digital created a number of op optional uh, database products for VMS some of which were marketed as the VEX information architecture family. These uh, products included uh, RDB, a relational uh, database system, which originally used the proprietary relational uh, data operator uh, query interface, but later gained uh, SQL support. DBMS, a database management system which uses the Codasil uh, network model and the data manipulation language Digital Standard uh, MAMS, uh, DSM, an integrated programming language and uh, key value database, Common uh, Data Dictionary, a central database uh, schema repository, which allowed uh, schemas to be shared between different applications and uh, data definitions to be generated for different programming languages, Data, uh, data Drive, query and uh, reporting tool which could uh, access data from RMS files as well as RDB and DBMS databases, application control management system, ACMS, a transaction uh, process monitor, transaction processing monitor which allows applications to be created using a high-level task description, task description uh, language. Individual steps of a transaction can uh, be implemented using DCL commands or common language environment pro procedures. User interfaces can be implemented using TDMS, DEC forms, or Digital's all-in-one office automation product. Uh, all-in-one was a was an office tool uh, for uh, for uh, digital uh, from digital to for Open VMS. It's an interesting piece of software, and I would uh, I would like to uh, try it out. I, let Let's see if I can get my hands on copy or uh, if someone has uh, has a copy of all in one for uh, open vms and uh, wouldn't mind to share then please uh, send me an email uh, you can find the email in the in the show notes most of the time rally uh, deck admire uh, for generation programming languages for generating database backed uh, applications Deck Admire featured uh, integration with uh, ACMS and later provided support for generating Visual Basic uh, client server applications for Windows PCs. In 1994, Digital sold RDB, DBMS, and CDD to Oracle, where they remain under active uh, development. In 1995, Digital sold DSM to Intersystems, who renamed it to uh, open M and eventually replaced it with their uh, cache product. Examples of third-party database management system for uh, Open VMS include uh, MariaDB, uh, Mimers SQL, and uh, System 1032. Standard stream, standard streams, in a manner uh, similar to Unix, VMS defines several standard input and output channels with uh, these logical names. Uh, sys input uh, standard input used uh, interactively 
this uh, represents the terminal keyboard used in a batch file it is uh, uh, batch file lines not preceded with a dollar sign uh, symbol or specified as an input deck using the deck command uh, sys output uh, the standard output used interactively this is the terminal uh, display used in a batch file it outputs the uh, outputs to the screen if the file is uh, run interactively or to the log file when the file is run uh, non interactively the sys error the standard error used interactively this is the terminal display in a batch file it is the terminal display when the file is run uh, interactively or to the log file when the file is run non interactively or in the special case of run uh, slash detach to the output file uh, or device specified with the dash error equals uh, parameter this command does not have a direct analog in uh, unix model uh, used interactively it will read from the terminal used in a batch file when run interactively it will read from the terminal used in a batch file run non-interactively it will read from uh, the sys input stream if uh, one is defined otherwise it will read nothing and uh, return end of file slash dev slash tti on unix is uh, similar to uh, sys command in interactive sessions but uh, is not available in non-interactive sessions hobbyist programs uh, despite being a proprietary commercial operating system in 1997 open vms and the number of layer products were uh, made available free of charge for uh, hobbyist uh, non-commercial use as part of the open vms hobbyist program since then uh, several companies producing open vms software have made their products available under the same terms such as process software and uh, mvp systems in 2012 hp uh, staff took over the uh, administration of the hobbyist uh, licenses registration was simplified and uh, software kits for operating system and layer products were made available on request via ftp download uh, previously it had to be shipped uh, on cd in march uh, 2020 hp announced that they were concluding the open vms hobbyist license program this was followed by uh, followed by an announcement from vsi in april uh, 2020 that uh, vsi uh, would launch a community license program uh, to replace the old hobbyist program the community license program uh, was launched in uh, july 2020 and uh, provides licenses for vsi uh, open vms releases on alpha and uh, integrity integrity systems but uh, unfortunately open vms for vex is not covered by the community license program since there are no VSI releases of OpenVMS VAX and uh, the old versions are still owned by uh, HPE and uh, also good to know that OpenVMS x86-64 licenses will be available later as a more stable uh, as a more stable version is released for this uh, architecture so it's gonna be very interesting to to include pretty much everything in the in this new uh, VSI backed uh, community license program for hobbyists all architectures including x86-64 uh, except uh, everything except uh, the VAX architecture unfortunately so this post HP open VMS hobbyist licensing uh, shutdown uh, as, as I said, uh, VMS software has community and uh, student licenses, uh, both free to use for uh, non-profit. The difference I saw that the student one comes with uh, uh, the free AXP emulator and uh, the images are prepared uh, and uh, it's ready to run. So just a couple of clicks, you can, you can be up and running with uh, an open VMS system in free AXP emulator while the the community uh, one uh, the community license uh, program provides uh, the pack files for integrity and alpha systems and uh, and the installable uh, installer files uh, i think these are meant more to to run on your own device i mean on your own alpha server or on integrity server or uh, in an emulator of your choice 
and uh, just to say again that the Vox uh, licenses and the uh, Vox uh, install media is not uh, is not provided unfortunately I went uh, 10 minutes over my time of uh, half an hour but I managed to to finish uh, the open VMS uh, episode which concluded episode 71 and 72 this one as part two I hope you have enjoyed it and uh, perhaps it uh, made you uh, being interested in open VMS or the, the VSI uh, x86-64 uh, upcoming port uh, of open VMS and, uh, and then I hope you can take advantage of uh, the community license program or just grab the student license with a free AXP emulator and, uh, and uh, give open uh, VMS a try. Uh, it can offer a lot, it, uh, it has definitely a, a big learning curve because it's, uh, it's uh, very different from uh, Unix based uh, systems and, and Linux and, uh, and it's great fun. Thank you very much for listening and uh, see you next Saturday. Saturday. Saturday.